Now that kind of firepower demands closer inspection. And that means no more Pacific Coast Highway. Uh, where are you going? What's that? I can't hear you. I'm going through a tunnel. <laughs> no, the Ford GT needs a racetrack. Specifically, my favorite racetrack, Laguna Seca. Let's see what it can do. So we put it in track mode. Oh, that's nice. Drops down with authority. All right, ready? Here we go. Oh, the acceleration is enormous. some clever stuff with software and fuel injection, which they say eliminates turbo lag. They keep the turbo spooled up even when my foot is off the throttle. So there's always power. Always. And there's plenty of grip, too. It's got an active wing out the back that keeps the back stuck to the track. And it's got active flaps under the nose to keep the nose stuck to the track stick all that together and this thing is sticky. Okay, here we come into the corkscrew at that's quick. <laughs> if you were to do that through the corkscrew at that speed in any other Ford ever, you would be out there in the weeds. And that's the thing about this new GT. It's not like any other Ford ever. See, here's what happens when a big company like Ford tries to do a supercar. The designers come up with a gorgeous, sleek concept. The engineers try to figure out a way to make it go really, really fast. And then the departments get involved. There's the guy from the cup holders department who wants to make sure there's room for his 30 ounce big slurp. Then there's the guy from the sports and leisure luggage department who wants to make sure there's room for his golf sticks. And then there's the guy from the making sure fat guys fit department who wants to make sure there's room for his fat guy. Now, after all their demands have been met, you don't have a supercar anymore. No, no, no. What you have is an SUV. But the GT feels like it's been crafted by specialists who knew exactly what they wanted and got it. Now this is hydraulic steering, no fancy electric, it's old school. It's got a great feel, turns in really sharp. Ferrari give you a lot of software to help you do neater skids, but there's none of that here. This one, you're on your own. All on your own. Oh my god, the balance is epic. Wow. America can't do supercars? Not from where I'm sitting. So come on, what's not to like?